In today's video, I'm going to show you how to take the Netgear EX3700 Wi-Fi extender and put it in access point mode to give you the ultimate Wi-Fi coverage. So starting with extender mode, what that does is it takes your pre-existing Wi-Fi network and just boosts the signal in your area in order to give you better coverage in places that you normally wouldn't with just a single device. And so this option is a really good option if you don't have the ability to run a physical ethernet cable from like a modem or router over into the device itself. Access point or AP mode allows you to run a cable physically to the device from like a router or a switch and it creates a brand new or a set completely separate Wi-Fi network that you'll give a network name and a password to and it does provide typically a much stronger signal but does require that physical cable to be plugged into the device itself. So depending on how your environment or your scenario is, you're gonna to want to obviously opt for either the extender mode or the AP mode, depending on the coverage that you're going to need. Now that we've covered some of the basic information between an access point and the extender mode on the device, let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so this next step is really going to be determined if your device is already set up or if it's a brand new unit. If it's a brand new unit, you can go ahead and skip this step because it is already obviously factory reset. But if you do have a device like mine where it's currently in extender mode and we're swapping it over to access point mode, you are going to want to hard reset or factory reset it to factory settings. So to do that, of course, you're gonna to want to plug it in like I've got right here. And then you can hardly see, but these two lights, you're gonna to want to make sure that it's booted up first. And then on the left-hand side of the device, you're gonna to want to press and hold the little reset pin right in here. And I have found that the ejection pin or the ejection tool for like a SIM card on a phone is a perfect size to get the job done. So what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna press and hold the reset switch on the left-hand side, and you'll notice the power light went orange, and we're gonna hold it until it starts to blink. Once it starts to blink like that, you can go ahead and release it. And what that's going to do, it's gonna start the process of putting it in a factory reset mode to where we can reconnect to the device and get it set up in access point mode. In this next step, you're gonna to want to have something that has Wi-Fi capability, such as your phone or like a, a laptop computer, because we're actually gonna be connecting to the device's temporary network in order to go in, set up the device and change the name and get connected. Once you have the device that you're going to use to connect to the Netgear's uh, temporary network is you're gonna to want to go in, search for the wireless network and then go ahead and find the network underscore e or netgear underscore ext. Go ahead and left click on that. And what that's going to do is the computer is going to go ahead and either either load the page or you may need to open up a browser. If you are on Mac, I actually would recommend closing the window that pops up because when we're done with the setup, if you're using the one that Mac pops up, it's not gonna actually give you a summary of the setup that you did. So what I would recommend doing is just closing out of the window that comes up on Mac. If you're on Windows, what you're gonna to want to do is just go ahead and uh, open up a browser and navigate over to www.mywifiext.com. Same thing if you're on mobile, just go ahead and open up a new browser and navigate to that website. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. And in this case, we're gonna go ahead and navigate to www.mywifi.ext.com. So you can see, whoop, if I can type correctly, ext.com. And you can see that in there, go ahead and hit enter and it's gonna take you to the new page of where you're gonna to want to choose new extender setup. And then from here, you are gonna to want to fill out the create an account option because with this information, you will need it later on if you want to log into the device to go ahead and change settings. Once you have that all filled out, go ahead and click on next and it's gonna forward you over to the next page where you're gonna to want to either choose Wi-Fi range extender or access point. Again, in today's demonstration, we are going to be choosing access point. So what you're gonna to want to do is actually have an ethernet cable plugged into the device from a router or a switch or a modem, something along those lines, and physically run a cable to it in order to create this network. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug that cable in. And once you've got that plugged in, go ahead and choose access point. And right now it's gonna say looking for an internet connection and it's gonna take a moment to go through depending on the speed of your internet as well as the hardware. And you can see that for a brief moment, it did apply some settings, but now you can see it took us to a new page that says enter a network name and security settings for your access point network. So the EX3700 model can support a 2.4 and a five gigahertz network. So what, what we're gonna do is for today's demonstration, I'm just gonna go ahead and do demo 2.4 to indicate the 2.4 gigahertz, and then demo five for the uh, five gigahertz network. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and choose a security option for the password for these networks. If you drop down the box, you've got the options to do none, WEP, WPA2, 
uh, PSK or pre-shared key, and then you've got WPA, PSK, TKIP. So there's a few different options on here. You may want to research exactly which one that you want to use. So typically the most common one that we're gonna be uh, using in today's video is actually going to be the WPA2 uh, PSK. So we're gonna select that on both of the networks, and then we're just gonna give it a simple password of help cloud. And then once you've got the information in there, you're gonna go ahead and click on next. Again, you're gonna want to configure these to your scenario or, or to your preference because you may have people that may want to access the 2.4 and you may want to reserve the five gigahertz for something else so again up to your preference once you have it all set up click next it's going to take us to a page where it says we are applying your settings this may take a moment so again depending on the speed of the internet and just the hardware itself this may take a few moments so we'll go ahead and fast forward the video perfect as you can see it has applied the settings and it takes us almost it takes us to a summary page where it says connect any wi-fi enabled device like you would connect to them to your main network using the current credentials below. So it gives you kind of an overview or again, a summary of the information that you did set up. So what we're gonna want to do now is we're gonna come up to the little, your Wi-Fi. You're gonna want to search through your Wi-Fi and you're gonna want to choose the network that you are going to connect to. So in this case, we're gonna do, let's go ahead and do demo five. And then you're gonna type in the password that you set up for your network and click on join. And then once it has connected, you can see down here, it says click the continue button after you've connected to your Wi-Fi network device. So we're gonna go ahead and check the box here and then click on continue. And then it's gonna forward us to a secondary summary page. It says you've successfully created an access point. And once again, it gives you a rundown of the networks that you set up. And then you can go ahead and click next one more time. From here, it's going to ask if you want to register your product. You don't have to worry about doing this. If you come up, you can see in the top right hand corner, go ahead and click on the X and it's gonna go ahead and X that out and you no longer have to register your product. And that wraps up today's tech tip video. Just remember, you can always go into this device and change the settings as you need to. What you'll want to do is, of course, connect to the device, open up a web browser and go to mywifiext.com, log in with the credentials that you created earlier in today's video and go ahead and adjust the settings as needed. And with that, that wraps up today's video, bringing us into our question of the day. What mode have you used and what worked best for you? Leave your answers in the comments below. If you like this video and enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and check out some of the other videos that we have on this channel. We do a ton of stuff tech related from unboxings to how to's. I'll link a couple over there on the right hand side of the screen for you. Subscribe if you're not already and enable the bell notification so you guys don't miss out on any type of future content and we will see you on the next one. Whew.